This is Miramar Naval Air Station. And you, Lieutenant Hooper, you're back in harness with the jets, but not with the frontline fighters this time. You're pretty sore because they've made you a camera jockey, a member of a jet photo reconnaissance squad. No glamour there, Hooper, for an old fighter pilot like you. Just something to sweat out. Cameras instead of guns. Well, let's meet the CO and get that over with. He's the man who's going to nurse you through this ordeal. And the man behind the mustache is your exec. Good man, both. But what about their outfit, you're thinking? Who wants to fly a nifty plane like this just to take snapshots? Yeah, you're feeling even worse than before, Hooper, as you start to your quarters. And I sympathize with you. A hot pilot on a hot day. I'm sorry to rub it in, Hooper, but Someone as dumb as you has got to learn for himself. It's your story. Tell us about it. I guess I don't have to tell you I am hot under the collar. And not only because of the sun. I can't see the Navy wasting a fighting man behind a camera. What makes it worse is that my old flying mate, Jeff Morgan, is supposed to be on the base. When he hears I'm in a photo squadron, <laughs> he'll strain a rib laughing. Morgan, speaking of a red-headed devil. This sinks me. Morgan is assigned to a fighter squadron here, and he'll never let me forget it. And look what he thinks of my line of work. Well, I've got to get to BOQ, and I may as well go with Morgan. But what a situation. My first ride with Morgan won't be my last. He'll be riding me the rest of my life. Well, we're here. Let me get out while I still have my temper. What is it the redheaded jester wants? Goodbye, old pal. Enjoy yourself. I'm gonna take a nap and catch up on a few nightmares, all featuring shutters. Classes. You try going back to one after 10 years of being out in the open, and especially when you're just not interested in what you're supposed to learn. You listen and listen and listen. And what do you hear? The sound of those spiders roaring through the air. Man, would I like to be sitting up there with them. I've just got to keep watching that blackboard. Look what he's putting up there. The only figures I've seen in the past five years have been feminine. Man, I just don't get this stuff. Why do I have to learn formulas to take a picture? Outside of class, they give me a free look at my artillery. Two K-17 cameras. I suppose they're holding their breath as I'm off on my first practice run. Are they kidding? You're looking at one man who's not worried. This flyboy photography can't be too hard for a guy who's flown as long as I have. Just a matter of pulling a trigger at the right spot on the map. So let's go find that dam.
Okay, Dan. Watch the birdie. Well, one thing I can tell Morgan when I get back, he may have all the fun, but I'm not exactly going to work myself to death. Photography comes easy to a guy who can do everything. What? No good. And another NG. Say, was that damn a mirage? I took its picture. This can be downright embarrassing. A dam as big as my hometown, I can't even photograph it. Boy, this picture will be so sharp to be able to count the fish. There she is. Now stand still, Dan. Don't fidget. You're going to be immortalized. Well, well. Not so bad, sharp shooting with these camera gadgets after all. You know, there might be something interesting in this photography. I kid myself. I won't be happy until I'm where I belong. Looking at the horizon over guns that shoot something more than pictures. Remember that day you were playing ping pong, Hooper? It seemed like any other day, taking a moment off to relax from the classroom grind. But then Morgan came to the door. He had some good news. You're going to Korea together. But what will he be doing and what will you be doing? Well, Morgan will be fighting. And you, Hooper? You'll be fighting too, Hooper. Fighting yourself, as usual. So here you are, Hooper. A photo pilot with Morgan's squadron. You're five miles off Korea, and there's action ahead. Are you satisfied? Well, at least I'm out here with the fighters. And at least they're letting me sit in the same room with the boys who are doing the actual fighting. Who knows? They might sometime give me a chance to fly. This fighter strike we're being briefed for, for instance. How about a photo pilot on that mission? You see? Just what I thought. They don't even need me out here. Good luck, my boys. Even though I can't go with you, give them the works. Try reading a book sometime when a clock is slowly counting out the minutes your friends are spending over enemy lines. And then hear this announcement. Now hear this. In all flight quarter stations, stand by to land aircraft. Here they come. I'm standing my usual watch as the innocent bystander. Uh-oh. There's one shot up. Gee, I hope Morgan's all right. There he is. Okay. Two tanks today to boot. For once, the redhead has a right to brag. The 
but the boys must have run into some flak trap. At the debriefing session on the aftermath of the fireworks, Morgan is asked to go to the map to point out the general area of the flak trap. And I arrive to play my regular role as spectator. The pilots are grim. That flak trap will cause trouble unless it's knocked out. Two planes shot up today. And what makes it worse, the pilots can't even agree on the exact location of the anti-aircraft batteries. And meanwhile, I'm tired of sitting here, tired of having others do the fighting for me. I just can't take it any longer. I'm going up and ask them for the duty I deserve, for fighters. So you went up there, Hooper. You told them you had to be in fighters. And then they told you something, my stout fellow. They told you they needed you for a bigger job, for the job you were trained, photo reconnaissance. That flak trap which your friends ran into has got to be destroyed. Your job, Hooper, is to pinpoint the enemy guns by photography so we can go in there and blow them out. Not enough action there for you, Hooper? Wait and see. There'll be enough so you'll appreciate a fighter escort. And who will that escort be? You ask for Morgan, of course. And then they put you in your path or and checked your cameras and said, go find that flak trap. You've got your chance to do something, Cooper. And you've even got Morgan along to see you in action. Are you still complaining? isn't as exciting as a regular fighter strike, but at least I'm doing something. Even if it's only a quiet little job of taking pictures, it's, it's fun to be in the air. And especially with my pal Morgan along for the ride. And if nothing else, I'm getting a chance to see Korea. And it's something to see. We're over United Nations territory now. Those mountains look beautiful below. But each one of them had to be won by our troops battling their way up and over. We should be getting over our front lines now. Let's see. The map shows the front lines right along here. Let me give Morgan the word. There they are, the men guarding our front lines. After we pass them, we're into communist territory and getting nearer the target. And now for a little peaceful picture taking. Stand by, Morgan. excitement at all, was it? Or one of those little puffs. They're not smoke signals, Hooper. Hang on to your helmet.
Morgan is telling you to get out of here while they're getting his good. But I'll give you credit, Hooper. When the flak is flying, you've got guts. You're staying till you get those high oblique pictures that your task force needs. Okay, boys, let's get that film home. You see what they're studying in the briefing room, Hooper? Your pictures. They're going to find that flak trap and blow it clear back to China. And then they're going in unmolested against their main targets. A whole task force play, Cooper, hanging on the pictures you took in the middle of bursting flak. to admit it's a thrill to see the aircraft being armed. And to know the whole carrier task force is launching a strike that I helped make possible. You see the Fox flag slide up the halyard to signal operation underway. And then the white flag, stand by to launch aircraft. All types of planes from every carrier in the task force taking off to strike some blows for the boys in the front lines. as a photo pilot, I'm going along to take photographs after the raid, which will be used to check its results.
And so you learned what aerial photography means, Hooper. Learned it above the bursting bombs that were guided by your photographs. Learned it above the ruins of communist supplies that would never reach the front lines to kill your comrades in arms. You learned your role as a fighter photo pilot is a vital part of the war against the communists. And exciting, too, for you men who fly without guns far over enemy lines. As you photograph the results of the raid, you realize at last you're proud to be a photo pilot. But there's one more crisis ahead, Hooper. Flight leader to Hooper. Flight leader to Hooper. Pilot sailing out behind enemy line. Photograph the area. Out. Pilot on that missing plane was Morgan, your red-headed friend down in communist territory. And the only chance to find him is in those photographs you took. You studied them. And studied them. And studied them. And everyone joined in the photo interpretation. It looked hopeless. But then you found it. A parachute. Let's go get them. Now hear this. Helicopter crew, stand by for rescue mission. Come on, little leg beater. Get those cloud cutters over the spot and don't come back unless there's a redhead on board. A redhead who's a friend of mine. Here it comes. Let's hope he's in there and okay. There's the old boy. Not so chipper as when he left, but he's alive. Bless him. Good to see you, Hot Top. Let me complete the picture. <laughs> 